Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. This is a question that I have been asked so many times. Um, it kind of gets to the crazy stage. So um, one of the things that I get asked a lot is, do I ever um, just go out in public and um, do readings for people wherever I meet them? Just kind of like if I meet them at the grocery store, or department store, shoe store, whatever it is, do I just give readings to other people? And I will tell you, I usually don't. And I'll explain why. I think that when we do stuff like that a lot of times people go oh my gosh I would love to hear a message from my dad or my brother or my sister or my mom my grandparents my aunt my uncle you know whoever you were close to and, and people think oh my gosh I would be ready for that at any time really most of the time they don't care for it I don't care doing it um, I very very rarely do it and I will say in the last week I did this for somebody and I totally regretted it as even as I was saying, I was like, mm, this is not the time. This person is not in the right energy to understand. They're not um, ready to kind of hear this message. And so as I gave this person the message um, and I could just, like I said, I could just feel like this is not the time or the place to kind of do this. And I did it anyway. And it was totally, you know, I'm saying maybe my energy was off, maybe their energy was off, but it came off not well. Um, actually, you know, what I'm saying like we were able to discuss a few things and then, um, I gave the person another part of the message and she was like, yeah, not good. So I've kind of decided in my life not ever to do these. Um, it's one of those, to me, it's one of those, you think, oh my gosh, I would be ready to hear from this person at any time. And a lot of times you're really not. It's one of those, you want to hear the message that you want to hear. You want to hear, I love you and I miss you and I care for you and I'm around and all of those things. But a lot of times they don't come in with those messages. My job is to kind of give their side of voice. Um, we know what we would want to say. We would want to say, I love you and I miss you. And I want to know that you were at my birthday party. Or I want to know that you were at the birth of this child or that child or that you were at the wedding or whatever it is. That's what we want to hear. They have their own agenda on the other side and they really, a lot of times will feel led to tell me all about it. Um, at some point. So a lot of times, um, when I'm talking to a client and the other side comes in, if I'm just like talking to them about booking an appointment or whatever else, a lot of times their family members will come in and like, tell them this, tell them that. And I'm like, nope. When someone books an appointment with me and they come in wherever that is, either in my office or um, um, over the phone or over the internet and they're, then they're ready. I will say even then they're probably like only 80 or 90 percent ready because a lot of times they think my job is to just kind of like answer their questions and i do i answer a lot of their questions um yet at the other side has their own agenda to kind of like i want to tell you this and this is what i want you to know or this is how i want you to know this and so that can be kind of like you're asking one question and they're answering something else. And that can bring a lot of confusion and a lot of aggravation in. And I think a lot of times it kind of just um, doesn't always go well. I will tell you in my office, I'm usually able to kind of make that easier because I know the person is ready to hear that message because they've booked the appointment. They've made the appointment. They've paid for the appointment, whatever it is. They've done those things, getting ready and getting prepared. So they've kind of gotten their mind, their body, and their soul kind of like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear this message. And, um, it's one of those, but when someone is out grocery shopping or they're out at a store or whatever it is, and their, you know, family member comes up to me like, Hey, Ruth, Hey, 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 um, can you tell them this? Can you tell them that? A lot of times when I do, they're kind of like, Oh my gosh, who are you? And I'll explain like, I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm a psychic medium. And this is what I'm getting. And a lot of times they really aren't ready for it. And when it comes in, it can be really overwhelming. And now this person is crying or upset. And so you think, oh yeah, I'd be ready for that at, at this time. And it's like, 
maybe not always. And I think that's one of those special things to kind of understand from the other side is um, our family members always have a message for us. They always want us to know something. They always want to tell us something. Yet at the same time, we may not always be in the right place, time, or energy to accept that message the way they've done it or given it to us. So I think that's kind of one of the special things is I really don't like giving um, what I consider kind of cold messages like, hey, just come up out of the bread section. Like, hey, just want to let you know your dad that passed like 10 years ago wants to say I love you and he really likes the new carpet. Yeah, it doesn't always work that way. And I think that's kind of one of the very special parts of understanding energy um, and understanding when someone makes an appointment, they're usually ready for that. And I do have a lot of people that will call and make an appointment. And a lot of times they're really not ready. They are so not ready to hear that message. They think they are, but they're really not. And a lot of times they'll ask um, interesting questions, but a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, yeah, that's not the important part. Let me tell you this. So it's kind of, that's one of those like, hmm, interesting. So let me pull some angel cards and hopefully they will give me um, a really good insight into answering this question for you. So you understand what this is all about, kind of understanding what this information is coming through with. So <clears throat> let me get these cards. This is not my normal deck, so I'm kind of getting these in order to kind of this one is my first one. And this one is all about stress reduction. So I think a lot of times um, people think that they're really ready to hear that message. And a lot of times they really aren't because they think like, I'm so stressed out that I haven't heard anything or I haven't received a message. And that can be one of those amazingly interesting answers with this. Um, and this is all about de-stress your mind, your body, and your, and your um, energy um, and kind of get ready and recharge for what's coming up next. And I think that's part of what the message can be is, um, is part of that can be um, like the reduction of stress. Like we think when we're going to hear that message um, that we're ready for it. We're ready to hear that message. <clears throat> and it really depends on the right time and the place and the right energy um, to be ready to accept that message for whatever it is. Um, I don't think everybody is always ready for that. Um, this one is make time for self-care. Um, I tell people a lot of times before you make an appointment with a psychic medium, this can be something that can be really amazing is kind of take some time for yourself. And sometimes um, if you're kind of one of those like, I just want to see who's on the other side, who has a message for me and what information do they have? A lot of times when you do a reading like that, you really kind of need to know your history because a lot of times you'll be like, well, I didn't know my mom's mom. Well, what's her name? She's coming through with the name of, you know, Sylvia or something like that. And they're like, um, I don't know what her name was. Do the history. Kind of do a little bit. You don't have to know like every detail or aspect of their life. But knowing some of them can actually help you understand their message and who you're hearing it from on the other side. Um, this one is all about unnecessary worries. I will tell you the most unnecessary worry that I deal with in my business is I have people come to me and say, for example, my mom passed away and um, we did this funeral and I was hoping to make her happy and that sort of thing. And I was like, I guarantee you in life, she probably cared ultimately about what songs you sang or what verses you said or whatever else. In passing, not so much. They really don't. Um, it's one of those, they may say, oh, I really love that passage. It was one of my favorites. But a lot of times they're really not caring um, as much as you thought they might in this. Um, let's see. Um, increased support. I think this is kind of one of the best ones is this is really why people come to me is because they really want to know that their people on the other side are really supporting their energy, kind of really, um, you know, coming to the birthday parties, coming to the weddings or the anniversaries or whatever it is, and being still connected to everybody else in the family. And I think that's one of those very special memories um, for us is kind of like, I remember um, my grandmother's smile when I opened up my fifth grade present or whatever it is and kind of understanding that. Um, and that's what we want to connect with on the other side. We want to know that they're supporting us on the other side. This one is love life. And a lot of times we want to know that we made a difference in their life. We want to know how much they still love us and how much they still care for us. And I will tell you, um, kind of one of the interesting parts for me is, um, 
people will change on the other side. Um, a lot of times their energy will stay the same and their um, kind of their laughter, their sense of humor and that sort of thing will kind of stay this, the same. Um, yet at the same time, it's kind of like they realize um, how much their energy may have affected other people. I had one um, several months ago and the dad was very jovial and um, always had a laugh and always had um, like this very fun uh, personality. Um, but he didn't realize how much his fun personality really hurt his daughter. He thought he was making jokes and she would kind of laugh or whatever else, but usually move away from him. So he's thinking like, oh, she loves my jokes, that sort of thing. But what he didn't realize is that her, his jokes really hurt her. It really made her feel bad because he was kind of poking fun of kind of, you know, like a comedian, like I'm poking fun of this. And she was just like, I never cared for it ever, ever, ever. And it was one of those. Um, so in life, he felt they had like a, this great connection, but in passing, he realized how much his energy affected his daughter and how much his jovial side, kind of like that fun loving side, um, really never resonated with her. She was like, I don't get the jokes. I don't get that kind of thing. I never thought it was funny. And he would say things that really hurt her energy and her spirit of just kind of like, he's making fun of me. He's making fun of the dress I'm wearing, or he's making fun of the choices I've made. And that was one of those things that it really did hurt her, but he's not necessarily didn't get that in life. He didn't get that until, um, he had passed and then it was like, oh wow, now I see how much what I did hurt her when I was thinking we were still connecting and um, that sort of thing. So it's really important um, to get really good messages from the other side. Make sure you have great questions in line and ready to go and make sure that you're open to whatever message comes through from the other side. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.